what's up and welcome back to Buy Stuffy Nick. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to curl your hair starting from a naturally curly, crazy, frizzy situation. That's unfortunately what I'm starting with every time I wash my hair. So I have a lot of experience in transforming the mess. The technique that I'm going to be teaching you today is a way that I've found to minimize the amount of heat that you have to put onto your hair, but still get a perfect result. I'll reveal a little secret to you. What I used to do every time I wash my hair was straighten everything and then curl it. Double heat, double damage, not good. So I'm going to be teaching my method today. Soon you're going to be a curl queen, just able to rock and nail the curls every time. With all that said, let me throw it back over to naturally curly Steffi, and she's going to teach you how to transform from this to this. Let's go. Here she is. It's still pretty wet. So while I let this air dry just a little bit more, I'm going to go through the four prep products that I already put in my hair. These are the products that I put in my hair every time I wash. It just gets it ready to be styled, to hold a curl really well. First up, we've got an anti-breakage leave-in treatment. I've been using this for years, ever since I used to bleach my hair and was actually breaking. Now it doesn't, but I feel like this just kind of helps keep it nice and strong. So I kind of just put this everywhere. It's the Redken Extreme Anti-Snap Anti-Breakage Leave-In Treatment. Yes. Next, we've got this magical product. This is the Ava NYC Main Magic 10-in-1 Primer. It's got argan oil and sunflower seed oil, so it's going to soften your hair, strengthen your hair, reduce frizz, protect against heat damage, super important, give you some UV protection. This is just like incredible product. So I just sprayed this all around. Product number three is my hair gel. This is from the brand We Dad, a huge curl brand. If you've got curly hair, you already know about it. This is their Advanced Climate Control Heat and Humidity Gel. And I don't put a ton of this because I'm not gonna leave my hair curly, but I always put a little bit of this. It's my little secret to protect against humidity. It really just like keeps my hair looking good no matter the weather. And then the final product that I use to prep my hair is the Pantene Mousse. This is their curl one. It says Tames Frizz for soft, touchable curls. And I mean, how can you say no to that? So I do that too. <laughs> okay, so those are the four products that I use to prep my hair, get it all ready to curl. At this point, I usually finish off the drying by blow drying it. So we're gonna do that. I, I just, I never have like the hours to sit around waiting for it to fully air dry. It's just like a couple minutes with the blow dryer. I don't think that that's really too much damage. So I do it, whatever. I'm not gonna be able to talk while I'm doing this, but definitely make sure you're always pointing it down. You don't ever wanna be going like this because that's just gonna create more frizz, more volume. If you got hair like me, you don't want those things. <laughs> Let's do it. Dry. Oh, goodness. It looks like my hair should feel like straw, but I promise you it's really, really soft. Oh God, I'm looking at the monitor. I seriously, I feel like the before picture for every hair product or hair service. It's like, look like this, sad and frizzy. Use our smoothing balm and you'll be happy in no time with beautiful hair. So let's fix this thing. So now we get to the fun part, curling the hair. Yes. I'm gonna teach you the method today. I'm gonna show you how you can take this craziness and smooth it down with this one tool. Yeah. This is the curling wand that we're gonna use today. It's from Dry Bar, it's called the Wrap Party. There's something very, very specific about this curling wand that separates it from the rest for me, and it's the fact that it's a reverse taper. Basically what that means is when you're doing your hair and you're wrapping it around the barrel, it gets thicker at the bottom rather than thinner. When it's thin, your hair kind of just like slides to the bottom. If you've ever used a normal curling wand with like the taper, you'll know what I'm talking about. It doesn't make any sense. It seems like a design flaw to me, but all of them are like that other than this one, as far as I know. So highly recommend this curling wand. I'll have it linked down below if you want to pick it up. Okay, so I'm going to turn it on. I use it at 380 degrees. It has a little digital readout right there. And of course, I've got a ton of section and clips here because this, this just can't happen all in one go. So I'm gonna separate out just the top section of my hair, leave a small section at the bottom, something like this. It doesn't have to be super, super thin, but don't leave too much. Okay, so, oh, I mm, mm, almost forgot something super important. I forgot this. This is a new thing that I picked up on Amazon recently, like maybe like two months ago. Lifesaver, actually, neck saver. I've gotten such terrible burns on my neck. I have a neck protector. The fact that this product exists and I didn't know about it, and it looks really stupid, but hey, I already look stupid anyway, so why not add? Keep it protected. Okay, now we're actually ready. We can get started. Let's grab the first section of hair. I'm just gonna clip the rest away. So we've got this first section that we're gonna be curling and here's where the trick comes in. So I know that I'm gonna be holding the wand behind to curl it, but before I start that, I'm gonna spread out the section, take the wand and I'm gonna smooth it over the first few inches of my hair on the opposite side. So I'm gonna smooth out the front section the first few inches. 
This makes sure that we're not like missing heat on any section of hair. I'll show you. Okay, so we've got the piece pulled out nice and tight. We've got it smooth and flat, ready to go. So we're gonna take the wand and just run it along the first few inches of hair on the front side of it. Just apply a little bit of heat back and forth a couple times. And now I just take my fingers and just kind of smooth it down. So now we've applied just a bit of heat to get rid of any frizz that might be coming from that side. And now we're gonna put the wand to the back and actually curl the piece. Hold it completely straight down. Go as close to the root as possible. And we're gonna wrap the hair back around the wand. You just hold it like that for a few seconds. Don't worry how tight together the curls are. We're gonna pull it out at the end and make it all cute. Okay, that's been enough time. I'm gonna let it go like that carefully. And there we go. Oh, it's pretty smooth to me. If I hadn't done that first step and hit the front of it, right up here could be frizzy because heat never touched it. Heat was only going from behind and then getting the rest of the strand. So this is the little trick that I figured out to curl curly crazy hair without having to straighten it first by just hitting the opposite side of the strand with the heat before you curl it. We're gonna do this again and it's gonna make more sense, I promise. Unclip the hair and we're gonna grab the next section and repeat. Okay, so just smooth out the section and we're gonna do exactly what we did on the other side except for in the opposite direction. So since the wand is gonna be going behind the hair, I wanna hit the front section with the heat first. So I'm just holding it out nice and taut and I'm just gonna carefully not hit my ear, but I'm just gonna run the wand over the first couple inches back and forth a few times. Just give it some nice heat and then just smooth it out with my hands, just like that. It's like a 10 second little additional step, but it makes all the difference in the world. So now onto the regular curling of the piece, hold it right behind, get it nice and tight and keep the piece flat as you bring it around the wand. And I go all the way to the very end. A lot of times people suggest that you leave the bottom few inches like out, but when you have your natural texture, you want every part of your hair to be getting heat to smooth it. So definitely keep that tail on the wand. A few seconds, and then you just let it go down the wand and pull the wand up through it. There we go, another perfect curl. I'm not gonna like pull it out right away. I know that it is kind of like springy and short, at the end, once everything is cool and set for a while, that's when I'll like run my fingers through it. You definitely don't wanna pull it out too soon cause then you're gonna like lose your curl. Okay, I'm just gonna do the back two pieces and then we'll catch up on the next section. Got the other two curls done on this section and now we're ready to move on. If you feel like your hair doesn't hold a curl too well, what you can do is actually hairspray this section just Take it, spray a light mist over it before you move on. Make that adjustment if you need to. Before letting my hair down, I'm just going to clip this bottom section together. Let's get rid of this guy. Whew, I let the hair down. Okay, we're going to section out the next section. It's like a little cinnamon bun. We've got this nice section of hair to work with. I'm also gonna split it into four. So split this into half, split this into half and curl it. <laughs> We're gonna do this the exact same way as we did the first section, but I'm just gonna show you again. Just seeing it over and over again, hearing it over and over again can help you like kind of nail what I'm doing. I'm just smoothing out this piece that we're gonna be working with. Again, since the curling one is gonna be going behind the hair, we're gonna first hit it in the front with some heat, just like this. Since this piece is kind of like that way, I get like this and then I bring it up top like that. Just give it a little smoothing action. And now we're gonna take the curling wand and put it behind and curl it down. So hold it behind and this is kind of gonna go more horizontal, just how this piece is lying. And again, you're gonna wrap the hair and make sure that you're not twisting it up. You're gonna keep it as flat as possible on the barrel. So as much hair as possible is getting heat. And once it's all flat, just make sure that you're getting the tail onto the barrel, you're getting the root kind of like twist to make sure as much of the root hair is touching the barrel. And then you're just gonna carefully release it like that. You may have noticed that I'm actually curling each piece back. I'm not alternating. That's what I used to do. Honestly, I don't know why a few weeks ago I decided to switch and do it like this. This is what I'm liking currently. Okay, so exact same thing that we've been doing. Literally, this is the same process for your entire head. It doesn't change. Well, spoiler alert. I'm kind of just brushing down, smooth it down with my hands, throw the wand behind, and I'm just gonna make sure that I'm keeping the hair not twisted, keep it nice and flat, 
get the tail all the way to the barrel, twist the barrel up so that you make sure that you get the root all the way nice and on there. Give it time to really lock in the heat. And then, favorite part, here it is. Let it go and see your cute curl. I love it. Let's do this. It's really a very simple technique. It's just you gotta get the hang of it holding your hands in the right way, in the right direction, the right position, and then you got it. If you feel like there's still like a little bit of frizziness up top, you can always hit it again after. You just hold the curl in place and just smooth it out like that. There you go. I feel like it needed it. So now this section, we've got our cute four curls going. So now I just unhook the bottom section and I just clip all the curled hair together. And now it's all out of the way. Let's finish this up. Release the Kraken. Back to this fun mess. We're getting close to the end. So now what I'm gonna do is just section out what I want to be the final section up here. Something like this, a little bit of hair on either side of my part. I'm just gonna throw a scrunchie in here. What a look. Grab your section and repeat as you've been doing this whole time. Smooth it, go under, wrap it. Keep it flat, get the tail on the barrel, get the root on the barrel. I feel like we could like remix that into a little song there. Hold it there for a few seconds. I honestly have no idea how long I keep it here, but for as long as it feels it needs it, let it go and voila, looks good. I mean, like seriously, do we see this? <laughs> We've got all the hair curled other than the very top section. Let's release those clips underneath. See what we're working with? Looking like little, uh, what's your name? What's your name? The little dancer girl. I don't know, my hair looks curly is what I'm saying. Shirley Temple, got it. Boom, my brain still works. <laughs> okay, so we got all this going on. There's a little check-in for ya. I'm not gonna clip this back anymore. It's just way too much hair. So I'm gonna take another scrunchie and I'm just going to pull it all back together and make a nice, loose-ish pony. Okay, release that top section. Let's figure this out. You're gonna wanna make your part exactly where you want it to be. So I always do a little right of center, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, that looks good. That's our part. <laughs> Even though this is the top, this is like the frontmost piece, we're doing it the exact same way as we've done all the other ones. I might run the wand over just a couple more times since it is the top section. Smooth it out with your hand. Keep everything nice and flat. Hold it like that. It's a thin section, so it doesn't need that much time. And for the front piece, like I'm really gonna make sure that it is going exactly in the right direction, laying exactly how I want it to be. This is our like show piece. It gets a little extra care and love. <laughs> okay, looking good. We can move on to the next piece and we're doing the exact same thing. So we're gonna fly through this bit. This side looks good. Now let's move on to this side. We're almost there, guys. Take the first section, clip back the rest. I think we can all say it together at this point. Brush the curling wand over the top of it. Smooth it out with your hands. Grab your wand, throw it underneath. Keep the hair nice and flat from this hand. Take your time wrapping it. Keep it nice and flat. Get the tail all the way on the barrel, as close as you can get without burning your fingertips, which I've done. Release it and take the barrel out. Reshaping it, repositioning it so that it lays nice and flat. And that, my people, is how it's done. Let me finish this up and then we'll look at the final result together. And there we go, that was the last section of hair. We did it, we finished. Now, super exciting, let's do the final reveal. Take that ponytail out and see what we got. How cute! Let's just remember what we were dealing with before. And to this, I can like breathe easy with my hair better. <laughs> it's had a little bit of time to like cool and set. Now we're going to spray with our hairspray, mess it up a bit, get it looking real cute. The hairspray that I'm gonna be using is the Tresemme Tray 2 Spray and it's in level three, which is like medium high hold. So you're just gonna shake it up. This is just going to help set your curls, give you a little bit more humidity protection. So I'm just gonna kind of like lightly mist it everywhere. Hold it up to get the underneath. And now that it's all sprayed, we can pull it out. So just run your fingers through it gently. You just keep going through it enough that you get rid of those spirals. You break that up, but you still have the nice, nice volume and texture and look there. Pulling out curls is just a world of difference. Even this out. Oh my God. 
How cute, guys. That's the look. If you feel like you need it, you can hit it with hairspray one more time now that you've separated it. Keep your mouth closed. But there we go. That is the final look. Yeah. We're starting out with that naturally just like crazy frizzy mess. And in one step without having to straighten it first, we were able to just curl right over it using that like two-sided technique, smoothing out the front of the strand and then curling it from behind. And it gave such a cute result. And also just wanna point out, even though we held the barrel all the way to the roots, we don't have the curl coming from the roots. The top section was held out like pretty smooth and we have a few inches of like a nice straight going into a curl. So if you're nervous about that, you don't have to be. It's all good. If you learned something, if you enjoyed this cool technique that I taught you today, definitely scroll down and leave a like before you click out on this video. That'll get this video to more people and have my videos pop up in your feed more often. So it's a win. Win. If you had fun and you want to join the Bicep Phoenix fam, I'm totally like cool with that. I'm inviting you. I want you in the club. Scroll down and hit that big red subscribe button to join. Ring the notification bell right next to it to get notifications sent straight to your phone, to your email every time I post a video so you won't miss. This was a really fun video today. I love these more like instructional type ones where I teach you how to do something. I feel like I'm a teacher at heart. It's like, hi, I'm Miss Steffi. <laughs> oh my God, that's cute. I like that. Maybe I should become a teacher. I hope you guys learned something today and enjoyed yourself while you were doing it. I really appreciate you watching as always. And as always, this was by Steffi Nicks.